Hey guys, so first what you want to do is just get a black nail polish and this is a Jordana nail polish and I don't really know if it has a name. Oh, it's in, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's in black and I just got this at a grocery store so um, I don't know like if you guys can probably find it in your local grocery, grocery store. So next what you want to do is just get a white nail polish and this is the Kiss Nail Art Paint. Now, what you want to do is just make a line right in the middle of your nail, like this, like that, and then you want to make another one right across from it, about in the middle of your nail. And then you'll notice that it might get thinner on the other side, so then you just want to go back. And go like that. And then you want to put a line, kind of like an X going through them. So you want to start from the side, and you could probably do it from any side, but I find it easier to start from this side and go out this way. So you just want to go like that, and then you want to repeat the same thing to the other side. Like that. So you want to make sure that this doesn't, that the white nail polish isn't too thick. Because if it is, then it's just going to look kind of like sloppy when you also make the other lines. So I think it's kind of cute right now, so you could even wear it like this, but then it probably won't be a spider web nail design. But it kind of reminds me of like the British flag or something. Okay. So now to make it look more like a spider web. You want to start making little tiny lines inside. And kind of make them like C shaped. But not as like C defined. Defined. Not C defined. Well more like straight with the little curve. So, like that. So that's pretty much what you want to do, and you just want to repeat that to each little triangle section. like that so that is your full spider web and then I can also show you some other type of spider web designs that you could do but this is just the first one and probably the most like simplest in my opinion and it's okay if you get some nail polish like on the side because it'll just come off after a few times of washing your hands another thing that you could do is use green nail polish so you could use a nail art um, like this and this is by Milani and it is in green sketch so with the green nail polish, another cool idea that you could do is just start it from the from one edge. So kind of do spider webs just going one way instead of right from the middle. So now with the green nail polish, you just want to make a C just like you did with the other nail. So just like that.
So like that, and if you want, you can also like kind of make it more longer if you want. So if you're feeling confident, you could also put a spider on it, but I kind of like it more plain and I feel like a spider will just be like too busy on the nails. So I like to keep it just with the spider web. So there's my spiderweb nails. This is probably the second time I've ever done spiderweb nails. So I hope it looks okay and I hope you guys like it. And tell me if you guys try it out. And tell me what you think is better, the um, green or the white. Another cool thing that you could do for your nails is actually make them glow in the dark. And that will like, really bring out the spiderwebs at night. So I'm using the Sally Hansen Sally Girl. Um, glow in the dark nail polish and it's in you glow you glow girl I hope you guys can see that that probably looks extremely blurry I know but it says right there you glow so yeah so I'm just gonna put this on the nails to make them glow in the dark so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween bye